Hi everybody, it's Christy. Christy and coffee this morning. I hope you have your coffee ready. I'm ready for another unboxing for Operation Christmas Child Shoebox Boy, ages 10 to 14. I made up these lists for myself so I could make sure at the end of the time I, I packed a box, I had everything that I thought was important in the box. And it's a good thing because this time I had forgotten scissors. So I was able to go back and add scissors to my box after I checked everything off. So that's another little tip if you wanna make a little checklist for yourself, it's very, I found it very helpful. So this is exciting. A boy 10 to 14 and doesn't it look so pretty? I love the blue and the green, it looks like a boy. And when he opens it, um, he's going to see what looks like uh, wow items on top, but this box I wasn't able to put the wow item on top. I had to put it on the bottom, but there are some great items on top. Um, starting with this hacky sack, which I love the homemade hacky sack, and I'm excited for the pretty colors, and I know that um, the boy who receives this box will be excited about it too. Uh, I'll go ahead and take the blue notebook and uh, dinosaur stickers and Sudoku coloring book out. I love the idea of all of these math puzzles for the older kids being combined with the fun of coloring. I got those at the Dollar Tree. Okay, here's a pretty green washcloth. That's important three little balls that are really fillers. I got a lot of filler things after Easter last year, um, or this past year, and they've been helpful in filling in the gaps. Green toothbrush with a cover. And this, I love the tie-dyed uh, Beanie Babies. This is rainbow, and I think that's uh, iguana. If I'm correct, I love the tongue. Perfect for a boy. And here's the, this one has a water bottle and I could not pa uh, fit a lot of school supplies um, in this box if I couldn't fit them inside of here. So it worked out perfect. I have a lot of paper clips and pens and pencils, a glue stick. This is a sharpener, and inside there's some mini dinosaurs. Um, there's a, let's see, an Ice Age elephant with the big tusks, a mammoth, a woolly mammoth in there, and uh, all these mini colored pencils. I hadn't seen those until this year, and I really uh, have enjoyed getting the little mini colored pencils. They fit in the um, water bottle this time, but they do fit nice in a shoebox. You have more colors, but less of them. So it's um, give and take with those. But I like this water bottle. Um, it has the flip up uh, drinking spout. And I understand it's helpful for them to have, depending on who gets the box, help them to have a water bottle to, um, because their water source isn't always at their home. This is a shirt with a Yeti on it. I don't know about you, but I'm a Sasquatch believer, and I love anything with a Sasquatch or a Yeti on it. And this one is so cute, I couldn't resist. It says, Yeti or not, here I come. And it's like a, a snowboarding Yeti. Uh, I think you can see that. So cute. So when I saw that and it was a big uh, deal, uh, cheap for me to buy, I kind of designed this box around it with the, the blue and the green. And when I rolled it up, it works out great with the uh, rubber bands. It makes it a little tiny bit smaller in the, in the box. This is a marbles but I couldn't fit it in with the giant marble, so I packed that one separately. That one came with the kit from Marble World for $1.50 for this bag of marbles. 
So I got quite a few of those to put in the boys' boxes. Here's a blue flashlight, and I packed extra batteries. A bar of soap, put that with a washcloth. I hope I can get all of this back in. Oh, this is the scissors. I was able to find a place to put them. It's awful when your box is full and you just think you can't put one more thing in and then you realize you need to put something in, you can usually find a spot. So this is um, from the Old Navy sale that they have every year. Um, these flip-flops are actually, they look kind of small. They're the average size for a 10-year-old boy. So I decided that I was gonna still pack them in instead of packing a bigger one for the 10 to 14 year old box because there's a lot of 10 year olds that are gonna be getting this box and I'm imagining if they're anything like the kids here, if they get something that doesn't fit right, they might be trading with each other um, in the end. So I'm just taking a chance and taking uh, these shoes that should fit a 10 year old boy and putting them in the 10 to 14 box. And here in the bottom, oh, well, here's the batteries. Oh, I haven't had a sip of my coffee yet. Mmm. This Lego set, it's not the actual brand Lego, but it's a building block set, is so cool. Let me show you the picture that it will make. This is a pencil pouch that matches the color scheme. And this is what they can make. This is a soccer field with the guys in it. And the soccer ball is so cool. I'm gonna see if I can find it. Look at the soccer field. It's like a felt piece, like the bottom of a pool table. This is a really neat wow item, I think. I found it at holler.com just recently. It was in their specials. Oh, and here's the ball. I don't know if you can see it, but it is just this cool um, octagonal type soccer ball, just like an actual soccer ball. Very, um, very neat how they made that in the set. So this, man, I took it out of the box because the box was too big and this manual will give them step-by-step -step instructions on how to put everything together and um, I think that boys 10 to 14 would love getting this set. So here we go all together everything in this box with the blue and the green we have the marbles and the soccer set we have the Yeti shirt and the flip-flops that'll fit a 10 year old boy. I think it ended up being a really great box. Um, oh, and don't forget the hacky sack. A really great box for some a boy that age. Thank you for watching and I'm getting ready to do another box for a boy, 10 to 14, so keep watching.